Hello everybody, welcome back to Decaffeinated Photography. I'm Josh, and there's no Alex today. The reason for that will be explained in just a little bit, so keep on watching. So in this past month, we're trying to make Decaffeinated Photography not just a YouTube channel. We've got a couple gigs coming up, and we're very excited for those, but we value our creativity. I'm not trying to rag on anybody doing this professional sort of uh, corporate commercial weddings and all that. You can also be creative doing that stuff. But we also want to try and say something with our platform. Try to do stuff that is not usually talked about, thought about even, or just try to reinforce stuff that is already there in the world. But we think we have a different take about it. As you guys know, Alex has been doing a full-time course at Deakin University and right now he's approaching the end of his third year, meaning he's going to graduate next year. So at this current time right now, as I'm doing this video, he is actually setting up his photos to be shown at an exhibition, which is pretty crazy. Who would have thought that people would want to see his photos? <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, that's just, you know, it's, it's a crazy thing. It's a big thing. He's showing it off to the world, except not really, just the people who are invited to this exhibition. The reason why I'm making this video, Alex does not know I'm making this video, by the way. Being half of decaf and more importantly, my friend, I am extremely proud of him. I want to showcase his work to the world and by the world, I mean you guys, the subscribers, or anybody that happens to come across this video. Alex has been putting his heart and soul and putting so much effort into this, blood, sweat, and tears into this set of photos that is not all gonna be shown. We shot a whole lot more. I did help him out every once in a while. I didn't have much to go with in the creative process. It's all from his brain, his, his brain child, his brain baby. With you guys, I want to get to the depths of why Alex made these photos and what he's trying to say. So we're gonna head to the exhibition, you and me, right now. We're gonna sit down with him and talk to him and do a little interview with him and talk to him about what he's trying to say and why he's trying to say it, what he's trying to do and why he's trying to do it, and what the process was to create these photos. The exhibition starts at 6.30, right now it's uh, 5.45. I should probably get ready, probably take a shower and shower in three days. Don't disappoint me, Alex. That is all I have to say for the ending statement of this section of the video. And I'll catch you guys there. All right, the exhibition's over, and we want to welcome our very first guest in this series of interviews that is probably not going to be a series, Alex Papadopoulos! Woo! Woo! Hey! Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the show. Thank you, thank you. Very honored to be here. Yeah. Let's get into it then. All right. So, you had your first exhibition. Yes, I did. Yeah. I sure did. Tell me what it was like to set it up and... Uh, stressful. Started. Yeah. Quite stressful, yeah. Everything was going wrong. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. But I went to Officeworks, went back. It took me four, four and a half hours to install my, my posters in there. It was a real... It paid off, man. Yeah, it, it did pay off. off. People loved it. Yeah. It people, was, it, well, well received. It was well received. Yeah. Uh, lots of people liked it. I think they were the biggest ones in the exhibition. Yeah, yeah. Your, your one took up the whole wall. Yeah, <laughs> Compared to others, the whole that took wall. up just like a couple of yeah. you know, spaces here and but, there. But um, I was really happy with it. And I don't know if Shamil's watching, but Shamil is my, my homie. If it weren't, shout out to Shamil if it weren't for you, Shamil, I don't know what would have yes. happened to me. So much love. Uh, hopefully, I'll <laughs> see you soon. And Hagen, Hagen helped me out as well. So I'm giving two shout outs today. Tell me about it. The conception. The conception. Okay. Well, what, what spurred you to want to talk about gender stereotypes and okay. all that type of stuff? These phrases that are used in um, you know everyday society, in cont contemporary society that are quite negative. Uh, I had the phrases that I wanted to use because these are phrases that I use myself. I yeah. have used and I don't think about them. I say man up. I say don't be a put. I just say it. It just comes out. Hmm. But what does that actually mean? Do we actually think about what it means? I, I never did. I do now. And so now if someone do still, says, would you say you still use these phrases? I think the only one that would maybe sneak into my vocab would be don't be a p 
But well, it's one of the worst ones there. Yeah, but even, <laughs> but even then, it doesn't really, but it might slip out. Yeah, I think I think for me, it's definitely just man up. Yeah. I find myself talking to myself that way. Something you thought about, like, definitely. are these things that people are thinking of them about themselves? I think it's things that people say to themselves, and it's also things that people say to each other and get told uh, from others. These are things that have been said to me as well. Like, the man up, I, I don't know if I'm going to throw a shade, but my ex-girlfriend and her mom said that to me. Like man up and gross and balls that like really resonated with me so now when i hear it i kind of like like oh it's a terrible thing to say to someone yeah it's a terrible thing to say to someone but especially under the the worst context hmm. that that's what like that's what makes it the worst thing yeah if you say come on man up man go for the ball in terms of like sport yeah, yeah. it's like uh, it's all right like yeah. because that's where masculinity is thrived upon no. in another context where you got like a, a girlfriend or something saying it to you it really like hit hits home. Mm, for sure. Yeah. One more thing to reference is Barbara Kruger. I don't know if any of you guys know Barbara Kruger's work, who is really well known for her white text with red borders. You see it and you think, ah, oh, Barbara Kruger. I was sitting there and I had like the, the phrases that I wanted to focus on with the gender stereotypes. How could we contextualize my work and actually have it in a form where people can be like, ah, oh, I see that for gender stereotype, but I also see that for feminism, or I also see that for another reason. Yeah, I think it all works really well together. It just yeah. goes together really well. Yeah. That really striking red text in this like lush sort of greenish places. So yeah, uh, now we've talked about that. I think I'm sure the audience at home wants to know like what you shot on, why you chose that camera. They were all shot on my XT2. It's the thing that I'm most comfortable with at the moment. There's no other real logical reason. You can print pretty big with them, and that's what I wanted to go with. So uh, this one. I think Josh took, we set up the frame and then Josh took it. We'll show you a couple more that didn't make the cut. Yeah. As well. Yeah, we'll chuck them against in there. the Against the wall on the yeah. park bench. Obviously this one is a better one. You can see the footy and the, the footy post yeah. in the background. Yeah, yeah. And everything. The bridge one's really nice. The bridge one, I wanted to make it central. Yeah, mm -hmm. really nice leading lines here. On the left, you can actually see like, there's a tone in her face. There's yeah. actually like, she's actually saying that to someone. Yeah. And on the right, she's actually chasing something. Yeah, she, and her body, her body language is very like very masculine in the, yeah. in the left there. Yeah, this one I framed that in a similar nature to the previous man up one. Mm. I wanted to keep the same form. Definitely would have been nice to have some cookies in there. Yeah, yeah. that's something that's Cookie an oversight for me. Mm. Uh, if there's if there was another oversight, it was that. Uh, don't be a pussy. I had to spend two hours with my cat uh, trying to um, get her to play nice with me indoors. Got to a stage where I could put it down and then she would go like sniff it, crawl yeah. up to it, started playing next it's really, to it. It's a really nice photo and the dappled light as well. She definitely knew she was posing. Like yeah. I have no doubt she knew she was posing for a photo. So it's, it's actually it's actually a perfect pose for it. Yeah. And this one with Lachlan with it, the flowers. This one, there's another cat in there as well. Where's the cat? The oh, there it is. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Can't yeah. even see that. Yeah. Um, this one was a 50 focal length. It was pretty dark in there and I wanted mm. the, the depth depth of field. We needed a bit of range, we needed a bit of foreground and background uh, depth. And I, I think that one's really good because it's actually mid nose blow. Probably not the most flattering and I'm, mm. you know, I hope he's okay with me using it. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm glad you're happy with it, man. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank you. you. Well. Thank you. And Joshy Boy came uh, came prepared to the exhibition. I didn't know he was making a video about it, so he did definitely rock up with the camera. That would be a nice surprise. Yeah, pretty funny. yeah, it was a nice surprise. Remember to subscribe, like, give us a like and comment down below. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the work? And we'll, we'll chuck this website up. Yeah. So you can take a look at the five images here. You can have a look at those. Yeah. Um, um, don't forget to check out Shamil. Shamil and Hagen. Shamil and Hagen in the description yeah. down below. Hagen, Hagen has done a series on eyes and Shamil on uh, miniature cars. So check also, out his work. very, very nice. Yeah. Uh, those ones, miniature cars is also one of my favorite ones. So yeah, thank you to Deacon and thank you to the arts department and Tarika and everyone. And, and we'll also link uh, the Instagram for this Deacon graduate film so you can see all of them, that Instagram profile. Yeah. If you want. Thanks, right. guys. Catch you later. Thank you for watching. We'll come out We've been working day. hard. We've been working hard and we'll come out with some really, really cool videos soon. All Lots right. photo shoots going. Cool. Black, blurry. Whatever. Huh. <laughs> thank you for coming, Alex. Thank you for having it me. It was a pleasure having you. It was not a show. pleasure being here. Oh, okay.